clear my throat. <coughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today you all, we are outside getting ready to get the sweet potatoes out. Uh, Mr. H and I were talking about this storm that's coming. Yes. And uh, he said, no, let's go ahead and get them out. Yeah, I think we should. So that's what we're about to do. And we don't know what to expect. This is our first time growing sweet potatoes ever. Yeah. We have never, ever grown sweet potatoes before, ever in the history of growing food. Yes. Have we grown sweet potatoes? So, so it's going to be a surprise for you yep. and us. Yep. So and Grizz should... and Moo and Jacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because it's for them, right? We're not eating them. This yeah. is strictly for our dogs. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> you giving sweet potatoes to dogs? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Well, we can use those for uh, Thanksgiving. That's what a lot of people are going to be saying. I know, y'all, but we just don't eat them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're going to um, go ahead and get to it. It has been cool all day. It has been overcast all day. And, you know, we, um, you know, our hearts just really go out to the people in the path of in. We mm. have been watching the flooding as that storm, that Category 4 hurricane came ashore near Fort Myers, Florida. Yeah. Mm. And so it really was just... Um, it's very devastating to see all of that happening right now. And so that storm is going to come on up into Georgia. And we yes. don't know at this point if it's going to stay further east. Now, no matter what, we're going to get rain. Yes. And we don't know how much rain. But the stronger winds, it's looking like, may be further to the east of yeah. where we are located. But in any case... Days and days of rain is not going to be good for what we're trying to do here, which is get our sweet potatoes out. So we're going to go ahead and get them out now. Yes. All right, y'all. So we're not going to edit. Yeah. It's going to be kind of rough. It's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be rough, y'all. It's going to be rough. <laughs> <laughs> but we are just going to go ahead and get the sweet potatoes out because we're anxious to see what we have um, available for our dogs so that we can really start being... Um, you know, developing more and more uh, self-sustainable ways of feeding our dogs. All right? Yes. So, let's do it. Let's do this, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to bring them close. Yeah. <laughs> and I think probably what we'll do, you all, is go on the other side. So, let's so, go level y'all out. We're going to go on the other side of this garden. This is our sweet potato bed right here. So we're going to just go on the other side of this bed and just start our harvesting process, okay? Yeah. So I don't know, babe. I think I might angle them this way. Okay. So they can probably get a better view of the entire bed. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay. And I'm going to pull the wagon right here. Now, we're not using any, like, specialized... Hey, Tiger, stop it. She always chewing on stuff. She be chewing on the goat milking thing, everything. Yeah. But anyway, y'all, we're gonna, um, I think I'm gonna pull this closer so we they can get a good view of what we put in the cart. I'm gonna put it over that way. Okay. It's a lot of ants down here too. Oh yeah, that's a good view. So we're gonna go on the other side and start the process of harvesting. I'm gonna climb over. Oh, and I didn't bring any snips to cut the vine. I got some. You go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'll just start. While you get the snips. Okay. Mr. H is getting the snips, you all. Wow. And they're kind of going everywhere, too. So, let me put this right here. Ow! Looks like I may just be able to pull these up out of the way. So let's just kind of see what we have in here. Tigers, get down. I think we got morning glory vines wrapped all up in here too. This is going to be quite interesting, Mr. H. 
piece too. So, yeah, and here's one of the plants right here. So I think I'm just gonna. Oh, wow! Just pull it up. Look at that. Oh man. Oh man, did something bite off of it? <laughs> Looks like something bit off of it. Woo! Look at this one. Wow, that's a big one. Let me see if there's some more right down in here. Yep, those are just some little ones. Look at that, there's another one. Let's see. It don't look like they spread too far. Come on, I think I got some. You got something? Yeah. Wow, it looks like something is eating them. Look at that. Look at this bit out of. Oh, man. Y'all, something biting out of our potatoes. I got to bring them closer. Something is literally biting out of the potatoes down in the ground. What in the world could that be? Look at this. Just look at this. Bit. This is insane. He's just biting them. I want to show y'all. Look at that. Like some just been eating out of it. That's crazy. I'm going to put these in the basket. Okay. Look at that. First timers. Ronnie, get out of this bird. No, Ronnie, no. This ain't just still digging a muscle in there, y'all. Ouch. Here you go. Thanks. Something been eating. Y'all, look at this. What's, what's up under that doing that? What could be in the ground doing this to our sweet potatoes? Just, and you could tell that was going to be a nice one and something just teared it up. Y'all, now I'm upset. Now whatever it is that upset me now. Now they done gone and done it. Babe, huh? now they done done it. They did it, huh? They done done it now. Look, just biting out of them, y'all. Just biting out of the potatoes. That is insane. Look at that. <gasps> I wonder what it is. I don't know. Here go the rest of it right here. Look at it. Looked like it was trying to develop some slips on there. What y'all think? I don't know. Look at this. Here I come. Look at this. Don't tell me. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Show that to her. Look at that. Yo, look at this. Ugh. Look. Okay, we got a problem. Oh, we got a problem. You talking about it. I see worms in there. Look. Lynx, leave Kitty with alone. Look at this. Bud ain't having it, you better stop. Look. Oh no, y'all. This one's okay. Wow. Look at that. Here's a nice cluster. That is so disheartening. Mr. H, we mm -hmm. got a problem. No. Some the wild animals been feasting. I wonder if it's a, oh no. I know you got a lot of them over there where you are. 
I, I think it's probably a rat, y'all. What y'all think? Oh, look at this one. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. That's a beautiful sweet potato right there. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm a pick. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me reposition you here. Sorry about the camera. Just trying to get you so you could see what we're doing. Oh, they been feasting. I can't take it. I can't take it. Look at all of that. All of them the ones that they didn't eat out of. Come on, kitty. Oh, a nice big one. That's just a little root. Oh, here go another one. Got to be careful not to rub the skins too hard. Okay. Look at that. And then more have been eaten out of. I mean, some has really been over here just having a blast. It's party, huh? Yeah. Did this thing develop more slips on its own? Look at that. That's crazy. Hold on. I'm going to hold on to that. They took us fast, babe. Yeah, they did. They got us good. Here, you can put them right here, huh? Okay. Oh, it's more. You got more? Look at all those worms. Oh, my goodness. Wow, look at the size of these worms. It's insane. Look. y'all it's so many of them they everywhere can y'all see them wait can y'all see them they everywhere that's lynx probably and jack's going after them yep they everywhere mm -hmm. no that's lynx messing with mowgli Shovel, babe. So we don't keep busting them up. Yeah. I'm gonna try to go underneath that. Yeah, see? Yeah. Some of them worms eat though. Yeah, I know. You think the worms doing that? Nah, ain't no worms doing that. Look at all these worms. I mean, it's just so many of them. I don't think those rats will go down. Yeah, there. because look at what the rat was doing in the chicken. Have oh, you been yeah. in there? They haven't got the turkey. They got the thing right here. They haven't got the turkey. They died. 
This is not a good time of year to be trying to raise babies. Yeah. I'm going to go to the other side. But I still think we got probably quite a few down in here. Because yeah. every time I go deeper, my hand seems to touch something, like right here. Oh, no, that ain't. Oh, that's just a, a worm in something. Yeah. You got something right here. You need the shovel to go under underneath it? Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Yeah. All the babies, they're everywhere. Yeah. Look at, oh no, that's a um that's not we don't want it. Gotta get rid of y'all. Here's a little one. Like, like the surprise of it all, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, you don't know what you're gonna get. I'm taking all these, um, um, I forgot what they call. Them. I'm taking them out of here and I'm squishing them. <clears throat> them grubs? Yeah. That's good. That's a good sign. That's excellent. Now you know if there's some sweet potato still down in here. You know we're gonna have sweet potatoes in this bed. I got fish. <laughs> Hopefully they stay down and grow again. Mm-hmm. Well, they don't really grow like potatoes. You gotta plant them in slips. Yeah. Maybe they'll do that on their own. I think that's it, then. Might be. Yeah. We did what we can do. Yeah. Uh-uh. Penguini. You can't get that out. Man, get your stuff. You put that in my face. <laughs> All right. I think that may be it then, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's pull all these extra weeds out of here yeah. so that our uh, garlic don't have to compete with nothing. Alright. Alright, that's it I think. What are we going to do with these? You going to keep these?
that one? I think that's it. Yeah. Well, we got to check right here, too. You straighten that camera up, it's kind of crooked. There we go. I think we went down in here. Raise y'all look. Okay, so now we're gonna show y'all what we got. Move bud. So y'all can see penguini. You want me to rinse it off? No, you don't rinse them off. Okay, here we go. So y'all, this is what we got right here. Come close. Don't be afraid. All right. So this is what we got right here. Y'all can see that. Yeah. But you also saw how many um, we lost, right babe? Where they at? Yeah, we lost. Uh... Here they go. We lost a lot. Quite a few. Yeah. Move it. Okay, we lost. Uh... This one right here. They ate out, that rat ate, I believe it was a rat. I don't know what else it could have been, but just look at all these that. What about a rabbit? You think rabbits? No, not underground. Oh, okay. No, not under the All of these are hollow, y'all. Look at that. The whole vine. Just look. They so, inside a sweet potato at home. <laughs> look at this one. That's they went crazy. all the way in on that one. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. But as you can see, we still got, this is the harvest from, how many slips was it? I think it was like 12, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. It was between 10 and 12 slips is what we planted. Yeah. I These probably was 12. Yeah. So. Man. So we would have did better if whatever we can figure out what ate all the other ones? Yeah, we would have had a lot more. Yes, we would have had more. What y'all doing in my bed? Don't be trying to use this as a litter box. Come on, beat it. Get on out of here. So yeah, this right here, I would say, was um, okay for twelve slips. It could have been a lot better. Yeah. I don't know. We might be able to get more than 12 slips in this bed next time we plant. Yeah, yeah. You think mm -hmm. we need, probably need to fertilize more or something? Or? No, no, no. It didn't, I don't think it had anything to do with that because the bed was good and fertilized. Yeah. It had lots of uh, organic matter and we put lots of blood and uh, feather meal in here and a little bit of azomite. And yeah. I think we did good with the fertilization part. I just think the problem was whatever came yes. underground, yeah. So I guess that's the cost of uh, growing organic food. Yeah, because we didn't put anything on them. Yeah, yeah, growing organic, you're going to lose some stuff, I guess. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. Shame on them. <laughs> but I tell you what, no, I can't use this. That's too hollow. But... I tell you what, some that look like what Mr. H got here that's all broken off and stuff, what I'll end up doing is probably saving the worst ones as for as long as I can to see if we can develop more slips from these for the next growing season. But that won't be anytime soon 
I'm just going to put these away. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe in um, a box or something with some pine shavings or something to keep the moisture away from yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, and just put them, put them away for the next season. Hopefully they'll last, but we'll yeah. see. I'm hoping that this will scab over. I don't yeah. know because we've never done it before. But from my research, I hope that it'll scab over instead of rotting. And um, and we'll be able to save the ones that don't look so good for slips for the next season. Yeah. And, um, and I think we can get slips from just about any size of them, really. Yeah. Even the smaller ones, I believe. Mm -hmm. All of the sweet potato, all of the sweet potato allergists, y'all let me know <laughs> in the comment section let us know y'all yeah i need the sweet potato allergist in the comment section to let us know does the size really matter can we get slips from this or do they have to be you know a bit larger so but as you can see we did get some nice size sweet potatoes didn't we mr h mm -hmm. we got that one yeah these are all pretty Nice size sweet potatoes. Yes, they are. Not yams. Yeah. They're sweet potatoes. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, I think that's going to do it, Mr. H. Yes. We finally, oh, raise you up. There we go. <laughs> well, I just got to raise you up some more. <laughs> Let me get down here. <laughs> so, we finally got Miss Kitty. Didn't we have this conversation, girl? So we finally got all of the sweet potatoes out of the raised bed. Yes. And that's just a four by eight. Yeah. I say we did good for four by eight. Yeah. So we, uh, you know, this, this is the first time. So, so we are know to put more slips in and uh, I don't know what pests that could be in there. It's some kind of sweet potato bug. I know that'll eat the leaves and might even eat the sweet potato, but that didn't look like a bug biting or nibbling. It looked like a grown that looked animal. Like a, an adult. <laughs> a big animal. It looked like a full grown man. <laughs> <laughs> you think a full grown a man? A full grown man then dug up under this ground, came up out this dirt, bit up off our sweet potato, went back down in the ground and left somewhere. That's full, what that looked A full grown man. A full grown man. Yes, a full grown man. You Come think on. so? A Come full on. grown man up in. Come on, look Come at on. that. Look at that. A full grown a man full did that. A full grown man did that. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy, y'all. I'm just saying, look. Look. Look at that. See that? Tell me that ain't a full grown man did that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I believe I a mean, full grown man did look at this. That. Look at that. I believe a full just grown look man at that. did that. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, look at that. And then left the rest. <laughs> like, ha <laughs> ha. You know what I'm saying? That's like crazy. mocking yeah. us, like mocking us. Okay. Yeah. We got something for you. In the middle of the night, <laughs> he comes in, he slides up under the raised bed. Yeah, yeah. And then he eats this and then he slides back up. Thank you for having my back. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to stop. <laughs> But in any case, y'all, now this bed has been harvested. Look at Miss Kitty back in that bed again. This bed has been harvested. And now this bed and the bed after it is going to be for garlic. We do have our garlic inside already. Not planting it. Um, it's probably going to be a good three to four weeks or so before yeah. we put that garlic in. Because we don't want that garlic to grow too fast. We want it to take its time so that it'll overwinter well. We wanted to focus on the root or the bulb development. Yeah. So we, we're not gonna plant it too, too soon. We, we're gonna give that garlic plenty of time, right along with our onions. They're probably gonna go in somewhere around the same time together. And our new onions are up. Oh yeah, 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 they are. They're up and they're looking good. Yeah, we mm -hmm. need to do a video on the green tower as well. Yes, we do. I did give them a glimpse of it, I think, today, though, when I did the video. Okay. Good. I did give them a little glimpse of it today, but we're going to have to break that down into individual sections so that we'll be able to protect it, perhaps, from high winds and whatnot 
if we do get strong winds, we just want to make sure that it don't blow that little green stalk over and, and all of the little seedlings get ruined. Yes. So we'll take it apart yeah. and just put it down, you know, in front on the side of the greenhouse. But now we'll have two beds yes. ready for garlic and then one, two, three, four, five beds for onion. Yes. So, but that's going to do it, you all. It's going to do it, y'all. Hopefully you all enjoyed our harvest of the sweet potatoes. I think you know. Grizzly and Moo going to love these. Yeah, they're going to love these. Right? Yeah. I think they're going to love these. Twelve slips. Yeah. Twelve slips is what we planted. Yeah, so we got some pretty good ones. Though. And y'all could tell us, was this a good harvest? If you, you know, if you're a sweet potato allergist, y'all yeah. could tell us. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> y'all could tell us, you know, did we do good for only planting 12 slits? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we would love to hear what you got to say. Yes. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't done, you think we ought to release this today or tomorrow? Mm, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment in the comment section below what you think about these sweet potatoes. Was it a good harvest for 12 slips? Also, what do you think could have been eating our um, sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes? The root under the dirt. Yeah. Right? So we would love to hear your thoughts on that. Yes. And what could get up under there? That's... The only thing I could think yeah. about is a rat. Wow. Mm. So he didn't leave no tunnel or nothing, I guess. I guess. I didn't see anything. Did you notice anything? Mm, no. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. And I really would hate to upset the soil structure that we've built by taking everything out just to put some hardware cloth down into the very bottom of this bed to keep something from digging up. I would hate to disturb it because we've worked really hard to build the soil in our raised bed so that the soil stays light and fluffy and gives us good harvest, right? So I don't know if I want to disturb it, but yeah. we need to figure out what it is. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't mess with it. Okay. Yeah. All right, y'all, well, that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching us here at Homestead Heart. Don't forget to give our video a thumbs up. Yes, like yes, and subscribe to our channel. And God willing, y'all be safe out there. Thanks again for watching. Peace, Peace and out. blessings. Yes, yes, y'all. Peace <laughs> out. each and every one of you, we're going to see y'all in the next video. Peace. All right. I'm going to put these down. Take off my glove. Hit the stop button.